Spending for political ads in Florida has already topped $13 million in this election year. Candidates spending big bucks in the races to be the next governor and, of course, the U.S. senatorial race. Spending so much this early used to be considered foolish, but that's not necessarily the case in today's world of self-funded campaigns. Mike Vassalindo will tell you more. Rick Scott here. Rick Scott is already up with his third TV spot, including governor. one in Spanish, in his race fans, for the U.S. I Senate. Run. I approve this message because it's time to make Washington get to work. So far, Scott has spent $5 million on TV. The Republican Governors Association has dropped another $6 million to reserve time for Scott through the election. Democratic consultant Kevin Kate says it's classic Scott. Well, Rick Scott's spending because this is his formula for winning. Uh, even when he beat Charlie Crist, he had a higher unfavorability rating. At the end of the 2014 election, it looked like Rick Scott might actually lose to former Governor Charlie Crist until he started spending $2 million a day on TV. We have been all over the state of Florida. The other big early spender is Democratic gubernatorial hopeful Philip Levine. Between his political action committee and his campaign, Levine has spent more than $8 million introducing himself, including over $4 million from his own pocket. His latest ad is a collection of TV reports on the race. He's running for governor and has a plan for how to make that happen. GOP consultant Max Stepanovich says such early spending used to be a waste of money. Uh, you probably get 20 percent on the dollar in terms of value at the ballot box. But? But you raise a dollar. So now you've got a dollar 20. After TV, the biggest expense for campaign so far? Campaign consultants. In Tallahassee, Mike Vassalinda, News Channel 8. And House Speaker Richard Corcoran, who's expected to enter the race for governor for months but hasn't officially entered the race, has spent nearly $3 million in ads this spring.